Hello everybody, hope you're doing well and welcome to a Battleground Season 12 overview. Now, as a lot of you know, a lot of information dropped and that was yesterday, but today is today and we've got to go over that. So if you haven't seen, we've got uh, three videos about, well, two videos about yesterday. One being the side quest stuff, which is there. One being a big 20 minute video uh, overviewing a lot of things that happen. Please go and check out that video because it will keep you up to date. I'm not sure if everybody got uh, any all the videos from yesterday, but uh, you know those are new kind of announcements for next months, next weeks. New updating content. And of course, we've got a video right there, which is the um, command's response to the gold trade-in uh, typo issue. And of course, we've got an MCN for the Saturday. So that was the first video today. There's always seems to be something going on. So make sure to keep locked to the channel. Um, and of course, next week, busy old week. But this video isn't about that. This video is about uh, Battlegrounds and some welcome, not welcome changes, but buzz, because buzz, blah, 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 because Kabam are celebrating with Battlegrounds their uh, 12th anniversary, their one year anniversary, there is, uh, of course, something uh, special uh, coming for it that it is um, hopefully going to see some lovely, uh, well, it's going to see some lovely rewards. But this course could cause a few problems as well. So, as we know, it's the one year anniversary. Uh, of battlegrounds uncollected summoners are be going to be able to get involved and of course um there's going to be some rewards updates some permanent rewards update this of course only affects like a, a very small percentage of the community so mysterium three plus uh, gamma three plus top three get 15k seven star shards increase seven star shards in ranked event uh, number one gets 15,000, so, uh, you know, a lot of people are going to be vying for those. Oh, and Titan Shards, so Titan Shards get put into put into this. So I'm sure people are going to be um, grinding hard when it comes to that particular event. Now, uh, I've personally just gone away from an interest with Battlegrounds, and that's, there's no disrespect. I just say, like, I don't, I don't like the mode. It's just a case of, like, at this moment in time, I'm just not into it. I like season nine, but I felt very burnt out after it. Season ten, uh, which is last season, I did what I needed to do for alliance points, which I did, and uh, I plan to do it this month. But I haven't really been interested. One of the big things is all about getting units, and when I started playing Battlegrounds whilst on holiday, I kind of thought, why am I doing this? Because I had to travel ten minutes to get any decent internet to play. Uh, so it meant that this was just a bit kind of like of a met experience. I did a few uh, of the objectives for the Caps Commissary, but that left me with a bad taste in my mouth so yeah i was kind of i left it like do you know what i do a bit i did three match well i did four i did f three matches and just thought uh, i can't really be bothered with this anymore uh so here is where we are i'm more than likely going to push for season 12 because the rewards look better from a time investment standpoint and at least i've got plenty of elder marks to go hey let's do it but i need to kind of be careful with time investment and that's the one thing that becomes an issue with MCOC. Depending on where you invest your time, what you get back from it is going to be very important. Now, I do need units. I need 21,000 units by Cyber Weekend. I may only spend 18,000, but I, then I need more units in order to go into uh, Banquet Event 2023. So that is that is always a difficulty when it comes to these uh, these things. But I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm still going to get involved with Season 12. I think that it's a good, a good option. Good option. Good opportunity to get involved with some decent stuff and that's why the following season 12 only rewards updates five additional solo event milestones 15k six star hero crystal shards not a big issue for me one six star class nexus crystal not a big issue because you know i could i look to get nick fury i probably won't get nick fury although nick fury is available in the loyalty selector but it's like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to get a six star over getting a seven star. It's just not. And I've got. I've ascended a six. I've ascended a five star. So I kind of like is where I'm at with that. Seven thousand five hundred seven star hero crystal shards. That's cool. I like that. One six star abyss nexus crystal. I could get my. Um, what he says. I could get uh, a bit of luck with that one. We'll have to see. Five thousand titan crystal shards. Uh, that's good. I'm quite close as a non-spending player to that. Uh, how far am I off? I think I'm 15k off. Or 5k off. Where is it? should probably put it on the screen when I'm talking about stuff. Uh, no, I'm 20k off. Well, I, after the gauntlet, I've got it. So, 
it is what it is. It's going to work out. So those are some nice meaty extra rewards that are going into the uh, Battleground Season 12. Exciting. Exciting. And I think because this is a special, this is good. I would have loved this to be... A, I would play and want to play Battlegrounds more if the rewards were like this as a normality. Uh, mainly because, again, it's time investment versus take home. And not to say that... Well, look, you've got to get wins. And I find that I'm investing a lot more time into Battlegrounds or was investing a lot more time into Battlegrounds and not really enjoying it as much. And I think that's the thing. If I can en if I can find... If I can make a mode that I like enjoyable... You know, Arena's not enjoyable, but if you're sitting and watching a movie, like, you don't have to overly concentrate on what you're doing when it comes to Arena. You're just swiping aimlessly on the screen. Yeah, okay, there's some element of concentration, but not to the level of Battlegrounds. You've got to think strategically. So having something... Um, yeah, it's just just nice to kind of invest your time in kind of like uh, different scenarios, different times. You have to really concentrate when you're playing Battlegrounds because you have to win. That's the thing, you have to win. Or taking part. No, you have to win. Like, you, you don't climb anywhere if you don't win. That's very different very different um, in mode investment. The same thing, I think, with incursions, but it's kind of like competitive and moral concentration. I think they should do like a, we should do like a, a, a graph that has a concentration curb and... How, say, event quest is very low concentration to, like, maximize rewards or whatever. And the same thing with incursions, arena, low concentration to sort of, like, middle of the road rewards. But units are premium currency. In any case, I think, I think there might be someone out there that gets what, what I'm talking about. If not, it just sounds like nonsense. Um, in any case, um, alliance side of things is very important. Our alliance did very, uh, has done and continues to do very well when it comes to uh, uh, the Battlegrounds Alliance side of things. So that's something, of course, get involved with. Uh, I'm not quite sure if there's any, like, the, the issue that we've got with two additional milestones is the same thing we had a few seasons ago. Uh, if you've seen me, uh, see me, see my videos where I've covered Alliance Battlegrounds points take home, then of course you'll know that. It can be a bit of an issue. And how? How is it an issue? Well, it's all about investment. Uh, so a good example is, can we get the calculator? Um, calculator. So if we have, I need to get our video back up again. Oh, what? I can't have the video up. Mm, that's annoying when you can't have the calculator and the video up at the same time. I really wanted to have them both there uh, to kind of go over. Uh, oh, no, I can. I can. I can. Right, but, but bring that back. So uh, before, when we did the uh, the calculations, is that if there is a four, not saying it is, and not saying it isn't, but let's go off of what it was last time. Every alliance member was putting up four hundred thousand points in order to get all the milestones. Now, if you're putting up four hundred thousand points, and then that's uh, what's it, times by thirty people, it's twelve mil. It means that take home for rank side of things becomes a little bit annoying again. I mean, look, you know, for example, our current alliance is on uh, 6.1 mil. Now, it more than likely will get up to 7 mil by the time that ends. Maybe 7.2 mil. I don't know. I can't predict the future. But that's the point, isn't it? Like, where we would do that, and maybe we get 1 to 10%, which I think is normal for what we do, but hey, you know, you just you just don't know what it's going to be season by season. But in previous seasons, it has been a good score to get some good amount of points from. But if everybody is going out of their way to farm in Battlegrounds, then we have the issues that we had from Season 9. Here's the results right here. I'm glad I found this. Shout out to you, MCC Avenger, because I think this is, is from him. And I think as well, uh, this is somebody else on Twitter as well. So Season 9, this, this was from Season 9. So that... The, this is 30, like 32 mil was getting position number two. Uh, going down, 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 down. Uh, and on screen, 16 mil was getting position 1% to 10%. And we go down, 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 11% to 20%, 9.1 mil. So again, the point is, if, everybody, if every alliance is looking to do 12 mil, then chances are it's not going to help out... Um, it may be all right that everybody gets uh, 1% to 10%. It may be a case they don't. But there's the point. Like, you, you could see higher scores in Battlegrounds for that season. 
especially if you look at the last season where alliance points were if your alliance did for example 12 mil which is yeah right there 12 mil you put yourself in position 76 thus getting uh some good rewards from uh, from that take home what kind of rewards uh let's see that would be uh so let's say it's kind of like it's there 76 so you'd be getting uh 14,250 times two tier six class catalysts a tier five selector uh, tier 5 class catalyst, two tier five, no, one tier 5 basic, one tier 3 alpha, and 10k trophy tokens. Uh, of course, it's not like a huge amount of difference, but what I'm saying is like it's a difference. There's a clear difference with the amount of points you put into what you get back out of it, and that's always the concern, excuse me, when Kabam run an event uh, like this. So that really kind of like explains that. I'm happy they're doing it. By the way, I'm not complaining about this. I'm happy they're doing it. It's just a case of you don't get smoke without fire. That's basically the uh, analogy I'm going to be using right there. So be prepared. That is what I'm going to say with that one. Um, with it. Yeah, and that's really it. Of course, this time, a lot of people are going to be going more ham because the Guillotine Deathless is going to be uh, the new champion uh, that you can get a piece from. And there may be other pieces and different bits of content. But you have to, you get one for free and you've got to clear Victory Track in order to get the other piece. So, um Look out for that. And that's the warning right there. There's a lot of warnings here in that be prepared for Season 12 to be fun, a bit rough, and well rewarding, and also not taking home as much when it comes to Alliance rank rewards. That's basically the message uh, from this particular video in more of a dissection manner. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'm probably going to record another video for tomorrow, another two videos maybe. And yeah, check out some other content located on the screen. What's your thoughts on Season 12 coming your way? Appreciate all the support this month. It's been amazing. Let's rock it into next month and try and hit that 70,000 subscriber number. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.